Konnichiwa Astamimo Saveni Sazora. Not simply this. Back in the days where dinosaurs roam across the earth, ancient humans used to draw kawaii waifus on a piece of paper with only G pens and copic markers. But things were different after the launch of softwares like Photoshop, Paint to Sign, and Clip Studio Paint on computers. Then, more and more artists started to jump on the bandwagon and switch to digital painting. And gradually, we enter into the great digital painting era. I believe many of you kohais are considering to buy a digital painting tool for yourself, but you don't know which one to buy and which drawing software to use. In this video, I'm going to guide you through all types of tablets and drawing softwares available on the market currently. If you're planning to draw digitally on computers or laptops, I'm sure you have searched on Google on what to buy. But most websites will recommend stuff like Apple MacBook Pro, Microsoft Surface Pro, iMac Pro, and tons of expensive devices that require you to eat grass for every meal to afford them. Do not trust those websites. It's not like your drawing skill will improve if you have a high-end laptop anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> Jokes aside, it's not that hard to choose a good laptop in 2021. Any gaming laptop will do. Pick one that has 8 to 16 GB of RAM, at least a 256 GB hard drive, and at minimum, an Intel Core 2 or AMD F1 64 processor. 2 GHz of a better user experience? Pick a CPU that has 6 cores or more. You don't understand? I'm sorry. I'll explain in normie terms. For Intel, pick Core i7. For AMD, pick Ryzen 5. For Mac, pick M1 chip. If you're trying to build your own PC, make sure the priority is CPU, RAM, storage, graphic card. Graphic card doesn't affect much on the performance of your drawing software. Oh, for all the PC building virgins out there, be careful when you walk into the computer shops. Oh, hi. I want to build a computer for drawing. Can you help me? Oh, of course. And the scammer ended up putting an Intel Core 2 Duo, a 4GB RAM, and a 64GB hard drive together for you. Lastly, he added an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 for you and say, This is the best price to performance laptop you will ever get. Kohais, please do some homework and research before buying a computer. Don't be like Ahokun. Drawing tablets are input devices that connect to your computers. When you draw a line on the tablet with its pen, you will see the line being drawn on your computer simultaneously. It's like magic and wizardry. Imagine Harry Potter writing I'm fucking gay on his diary, and the words end up appearing on the blackboard, declaring his raging homosexuality to the entire class. Drawing tablets have been around for quite some time now, and the technology has matured enough to drive down the cost drastically. You can buy some really dirt cheap drawing tablets under $100 today. So is there a drawing tablet that meets all the criterias mentioned above? Of course! Introducing XP Pen Deco 01 V2. The Deco 01 V2 comes with a decent size of working area so you have more space to create and get your work done. The stylus pen is battery free, has 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity, and supports tilt function up to 60 degrees. Not only is it compatible with drawing softwares like Photoshop or Clip Studio Paint on PC, but it also supports connections with Android tablets and mobile phones. Which means you can actually plug in your Deco 01 V2 to your Android phone and start drawing whenever and wherever you are. It's compatible with drawing apps like Ibis Paint X, Medibank, and more. You can sketch, paint, design, and even edit photos on your tablet. Click the link in the description below to purchase the tablet. Many OG illustrators are still using drawing tablets because their hand won't be covering the image when they are drawing, which makes it easier to see the whole illustration. Another advantage of using a drawing tablet is you can maintain a good posture while drawing because your neck and back are held in an upward position when you're looking at the monitor in front. Which is why drawing tablet users don't tend to have any neck pain issues, unlike graphic tablet or iPad users. My neck! Oh, my neck! Graphic tablet is a tablet with a built-in monitor. It's not a computer. You need to connect the graphic tablet to a PC. Only then, you can operate it with the pen from the screen of the tablet. Graphic tablets are usually less user-friendly due to the many connectors you have to plug in like USB connector, HDMI connector, power connector, and PP. So don't even think of using graphic tablets to pretend as a street artist just so you can impress passengers in the subway, because you will end up looking like this. Generally, graphic tablets can increase the productivity of your drawing workflow because you will use much less CTRZ compared to a traditional drawing tablet. Also, graphic tablets allow you to draw in easy mode, 
It's so much easier to get the perfect stroke on a graphic tablet compared to a drawing tablet because you can just simply draw on the screen. iPad is a product made by a company named after fruit. Most iPads support Apple Pencil now, so you can pick any iPad you like to the subway and start your pretend play. Oh yeah, I can finally draw lollies on the subway. For regular artists, a normal 11-inch iPad is a no-brainer option because of its suitable screen size and its overall good performance. The current iPad Air 4 is a really good buy in my opinion. If you are on a budget or you can't afford the iPad Pro, then go for it. Never look back. The iPad Mini, however, is too small, so I don't recommend it unless you're planning to get cataracts. If you are a full-time artist and a part-time money printer, the newest release 12.9-inch M1 iPad Pro 2021 is basically free real estate. A computer chip and a tablet? Look at that sweet liquid retina exterior display. The performance is gonna be insane! <clears throat> it's going to be an awesome experience drawing on this absolute beast. But not everyone can afford this price, including me. So Kohais, we can only dream on. Konoha Senpai. That is to buy the newest iPad Pro even if I have to sell all my Dakimakuras. Tablet PCs are basically touchscreen PCs, but Windows operated. For example, Windows Surface Pro and Lenovo ThinkPad. Unlike the iPad, tablet PCs that support pen pressure is usually cheaper, but in terms of drawing experience, it's a stress-inducing mess. There's plenty of bugs, the pen is not as responsive as the Apple Pencil, the parallax between the pen and the screen is huge, which means that the cursor isn't directly positioned under the point of the pen of the monitor. Every time I use tablet PCs, I feel like putting the pen on my bum hole because it's the only way I can feel pleasure from the pain and agony I'm currently in. <sighs> the only tablet PC that's worth mentioning is the Microsoft Surface Pro series, but the price isn't that much different compared to the iPad. Just don't. Well, it's not as hard as you think because there's only a few that are truly useful. For PC, it's Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint. For iPad, it's Procreate and Illustrator. So you don't have to worry so much about which one is better because they all share identical functions. But I have to say, drawing apps on iPad are still not as powerful as professional drawing programs on PC. But let's face it, as long as you got the skills, it doesn't really matter if you're using iPad or PC. Capable artists can simply doodle in paint using a wooden PC, and they can still draw 100 times better than the newbie who uses high-end tablet with pro softwares. Some reality check right there. Drawing tablets and graphic tablets are important tools for drawing digital illustrations on PC. But you don't have to worry about picking the newest or best tablet, because they will be eventually replaced by a newer tablet. Just like how every time Apple says, They are the best. It's the best. This is the most powerful. It is the biggest leap forward. It is the most advanced iPhone we've ever created. Bruh. Chasing technology is a fool's game. It's okay if you bought iPad Pro 2020. It's still a beast of its own, but not as good as M1 iPad 2021. Only change or buy a new one if your device is malfunctioning, or the software doesn't support anymore, or exploded. Remember, by having a better device doesn't mean that you can produce a better illustration. It all comes down to your drawing skills, so stop worrying about which tablet to buy. Just buy one. XP Pen Step got zero IV, so it's pretty good by the way. And start practicing. Please drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter. DM me if you want a commission from me. Alright, that's all from me. Jana, guys.